Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We have some hazy sunshine out across the Miami Valley this morning. Temperatures have been chilly, but we are quickly going to climb with the sun up. We'll be near 61 at 10 o'clock and our lunchtime temperature 70 degrees and mostly sunny today with just a few scattered clouds. Otherwise, that haze just kind of making the sky look a little milky. Forecast highs across our northern counties, generally in the upper 70s, 78 Salina, Sydney, 79 in Greenville and Troy, 78 in Springfield, southern half of the Miami Valley, close to 80 degrees in Dayton, Springboro, Xenia, 81 in Wilmington, and then some upper 70s back towards Richmond and Eaton. So a little bit warmer today. And again, I mentioned that hazy sunshine. It's because of the smoke and the upper levels of the atmosphere. These are uh, this is smoke from the wildfires out west. And it will continue to impact us a light to even moderate smoke at times today into tonight and even Thursday. Uh, we could have some thicker smoke across the area, especially as we head through the first part of the day. Getting into the later afternoon and evening hours, you can see a gradual trend where that smoke's moving out. So a little bit more clearing will occur and we may see a little brighter sunshine on Friday. Very active tropics continue. We've been tracking Sally here as it made landfall earlier this morning right around Gulf Shores, Alabama. Still getting that very heavy rainfall, tremendous rainfall amounts as it's such a slow moving system. The storm surge that continues to move inland, uh, just a catastrophic event for the northern Gulf Coast, unfortunately, and still a category two storm. Winds have been upgraded to 100 miles per hour, so that's the latest update. The track takes it through Alabama into Georgia and then eventually weakening into a remnant low as it heads over into South Carolina. But again, rainfall uh, very heavy across the southeastern U.S. because of Sally. Locally, high pressure keeps us dry, but a cold front to the northwest will drop in tomorrow. That'll bring us a slight chance of a shower. Not a big one. It's just about 20%, but we can't rule it out. And then Friday and Saturday, we're right back to dry weather. We could use some rain, but it does look like a pretty dry stretch of weather for us. We still have abnormally dry conditions in some of our eastern and southern counties, and uh, this may have expanded as we've gone through this week with no rain in sight. A check of future track shows dry weather and sunshine through five o'clock tonight. We'll start to see a few scattered clouds moving in, and by tomorrow there's that slight chance of a spotty shower. Notice how few and far between they are. Just not a lot of moisture for that front to work with, and then we'll start to clear out as we head into Friday. Today will be up to 80, some hazy sun again, a little bit warmer than we have been tonight with partly cloudy conditions developing. We'll drop to a cool 55 and tomorrow up to 73, a spotty shower possible, but not very likely. It'll be cooler with that front coming through and then Friday starting in the 40s and again a high of just 66. It's going to feel like fall for the end of the week and weekend. Saturday and Sunday mornings will be down in the mid 40s, high Saturday 67. Then we'll warm back into the 70s Sunday through next week.